how we're doing today. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm out doing what I love best and that's doing this again, bird watching. Wife is off with the camera again. And uh, I want to wander around with binoculars to see what's about. I don't know, there's all sorts around here. There's tree creepers it's on this tree behind me. Woodpeckers in the background, the green woodpecker, the famous green woodpecker. She's gone looking for that. Wren's over there, you can hear him calling now. And I'm just going to go and see what else is about because there's, there's loads of things here. It's absolutely fantastic. So please join me today. Uh, watch the rest of the video and let's see how we get on. Brilliant. I changed angle because we were looking for different birds again. But I've sure have seen the woodpecker fly off that tree now. Wife is somewhere behind me. She's just behind that tree there. You might just be able to see her a little bit. I'm struggling. But I'm sure I've seen the woodpecker fly off. So it's really good stuff. And we're not just here for the woodpecker or anything like that. It's, 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 it's wildlife photography is what you see really on the day. You can go for specific things, but I just love it all really. I mean, if you saw, I don't know, if you saw like a bird of prey land on that stick there, you'd be all over it, wouldn't you? It's just take pictures of whatever, it's brilliant. And there it is again, but there's another one over there somewhere. You might not be able to hear it on the camera like I can. Sorry, I know I keep going pausey, pausey, but I'm in the element, so I hope you enjoy this, because I certainly am. I'll see how we get on. Let's see what she's doing. I'm just going to have ringer a minute. She's right behind me now. Two chances. You won't be able to see them. Oh yeah, I did see this tree there where I'm pointing at, the big one there. I did see something fly off there. Right, and then it went towards you, but the tree behind you over your left shoulder, the nearest big tree to you. Yeah. So I don't know if you want the, the binos or not. But something big did go now. It, I wasn't sure because I just caught it for a glimpse. But I just thought he was on it. Yeah. Yeah, but I think there's a couple you can hear. I think there's one behind me, but there's definitely some up near you somewhere. All right, be patient. All right, all right. Bye, love, bye. Right, update. She's coming back for binos. Good idea really, what? Because I'm doing this and I'm talking to you. She might as well be using them. Even though we have got about three or four pairs of them. We carry that much stuff with us. It's just try and lighten it down and sometimes you do forget things. But we get through, we get by, don't we? We have a good time and we enjoy ourselves. Let's see where she is. Oh, she's onto something. Might be up to see her. Have a look, can we see you? She's it's, it's quite difficult to see. She's more of to if you go to the I know it's, she's more around there somewhere. She's, I think she's just using the camera lenses like like a pair of binoculars at the moment, but we'll see. Right, I'm going to take these binos to her, um, but I will have to just make sure that I don't get too close. There's definitely one behind me, I'm just going to have to stop. You might not be able to see me. I'm just looking up here now. I 
saw a trick once, Bill Oddie did it. And if you put your hands behind your ears, and it looks a bit daft, but try it now. And it amplifies all the sounds in front of you. And it sends them straight into you so you can hear them a lot more clearer. And it's like directional, so you do this. It's really good. Try it. What I'll do is I'll wait till I can hear it again. Because there's that many branches and that many trees. I could have just stood there for ages and ages and ages and I'm not going to see it. Wish me luck. See the woodpecker, like many birds, it flies undulating. Means it flies like a waveform and it can fly low to the ground as well. So if you see, like, and it's about a foot long, so you're looking like that, and it, it'll fly like that low to the ground and not really, really fast. But they're very hard to spot. They don't like being spotted like most wildlife. It's up here, near that. See, I've got a problem is the light is very strong in front of me and ideally you want the light behind you. So basically you are casting the shadow, it's pointing towards what bird you're taking a picture of. I can't very well go running around the forest to try and make sure the birds I'm seeing are like in that position where I am. There's something up here. Wife is on her way. I know we're in silhouette at the moment, but there's not much I can do that with the position of light. But it's in this tree behind us, so I'm just hoping that we spot it before it flies off. Saying that, if it flies off, it might just land where we can see it even closer. Just go on to that tree there, this big one. Yeah. Top. Like right nine o'clock. Or three o'clock. On that branch. Well it's branch, the next dead to branch. the one that's dead, no, next to the one that's dead. You mean next to you up or next to you down? Oh. It's a big branch. Mm. So I'm on to the top left. The very top. Little Git, it was an ordinary woodpecker, it just gone over there. Has it? Yeah, one of them, what you call it? Great spotted. Yeah, I knew I could see red. Right, I want to get some sandwiches, I'm hungry now. Yeah. Let's have something to eat, eh? I knew I'd seen bloody red then. What I look for, because that's what you can see, innit? Yeah. It's better to listen and look, so we want to have something to eat. Alright. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry there. What's doing bringing it here? Yeah, well, where do you want to sit? On that log? Sit on that log over there, eh? Alright. Let's go then. Where's that log? Tut log! That song push is giving me some, innit? 
I'm right the camera. Bird, I've been into bird watching now for uh, since I was 10, maybe a bit younger, and it was a, a school teacher. I said, Why don't you join the YOC, the Young Ornithologist Club? We do it at school, and I did. And I just got hooked. It's ever since then I got hooked. And as I got older and time went by, I did kind of drift away from it. And in these last five, six years again, since especially meeting Julian with the book for days out, it's come back with a vengeance. It's like the 20 years or something that I've not been doing it as much. It's like steamed back at me, it's like 100 mile an hour. And now, happy, quite happy, just bird watching every single day. I'm nature watching for the rest of my life, I could do it. It's so relaxing. And it's exciting as well. And I likened it in one of the other videos to someone who likes fishing. Like a fisherman who'll go and sit at the side of the lake and he'll set up his tackle, like he's setting up his camera. And he'll get all his stalls out and then he'll just fish and he'll work the area where he's got his float or he's got his line going in. And he'll just work that area all day in the hole for a bite and he will stare and stare on the a sheet, sorry. Or just stare and stare and wait for that bite. I used to watch my dad fishing, I even used to do it with him. And then and he used to sit there all day and I'm like, he'd go out after a couple of hours or because I needed a, a little bite every now and again. Woodpecker. My jewelry's staring at it, she's heard it. I'll get back to that story in a minute. And, that, and that's because when they're fishing, they just love it that much. And it's the same with bird, bird watching, bird photography. It's just, it's a glimpse. It used to be more so the glimpse, but now it's capturing the bird as an image now. The thing is with bird photography is, it depends on what kind of bird you want to see. And that's the beauty of it, because there's loads of different environments, isn't there? You've got woodland, you've got fields, meadows, marshlands, hillsides, I've said moorlands, moorlands, you've got the seashore and they all have different habitats, don't they? And therefore they all have different animals living there. And not only that, you can find most of these things in different counties all over the country, from north to south. But some birds are only be found more in the north or more in the south. So, hence it's a lot of traveling you've got to do to see different species and that's the fun of it so we join the RSBB just for that and then we can just travel around and go to different uh, reserves a lot of them are wetlands so you see a lot of uh, waders and water birds and things like that that wren's back on that tree now you can hear him you might be able to hear him I've got th I like I like woodland birds always had an affinity for them And it's so relaxing, and you do you do this enough, and you can you start to recognise all the bird noises, and you build up like a repertoire of it. You see, when I first met my wife, she didn't know a lot about birds, and I've been with her a good few years now, and it's amazing how she's come on. 
she's just learnt so much and that's because she's took an interest in it. And I'm a fair believer that we all could take a big interest in it. It's just doing it, you just don't realise it, you're so used to where you live in the towns and everything. Just get out and enjoy yourself.